And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast, weather from where you live. Well, happy Sunday evening. Looking at current temperatures, you can tell where we have a lot of sunshine versus a little bit more cloud cover from Lafayette down toward Covington in the upper 70s. 82 Rochester, 83 right now in Peru and satellite radar kind of confirm where those clouds are located from 65 southwestward toward Fountain and Warren counties. Now looking off to the west, there's our next low pressure system. You can see very strong south wind wrapping all around this ridge of high pressure to the east of us. That has kept us very nice and actually very dry the last few days. So now going right into future cast, this is going into Monday morning. Tonight should be pretty nice. We'll have some partly cloudy conditions to mostly clear skies at times with that south wind. It'll stay dry this evening. Now tomorrow we'll start off dry. We'll have actually a dry morning and early afternoon, but we will be watching some storms out to the west. It'll kind of give out a little boundary of a push of cold air that will give out a we call that a little, little cold front that will move through. That's going to be the focus point to where we're going to be watching some storms develop later in the day. And then we'll be watching some storms really move in after about, I would say, 1 to 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon from west to east. And some of these storms could be sticking around. Uh, don't focus too much here on the future cast of where exactly these storms are being uh, centered here, but definitely watch what we could see. These storms not really moving much, and we could see some localized flooding with some of these stronger storms from this system. But by, as we get after about midnight tomorrow, we'll start to wind things down and we'll maybe see some isolated remnant showers Tuesday morning. Uh, mostly cloudy, but then we'll start to improve the weather for Tuesday and into Wednesday. So Tuesday afternoon looks great going into Wednesday as well, but the severe risk, well, it's there. We're underneath that level one marginal risk, a very low risk of severe weather, damaging winds, small hail, and again, localized flooding cannot be ruled out from really uh, Fowler up toward Rochester, Winnemacca, and southeastward across the viewing area. So we'll watch for that closely. I'll actually be in for Chad the rest of the week. And I'll give you the latest updates uh, tomorrow evening. Lisa Montgomery will be in tomorrow morning with the latest uh, morning updates for your traffic and weather. Projected rainfall again, take this as it is. We're going to be seeing just chances for some very heavy rainfall with some of these storms. But this one inch could easily be over here toward Frankfurt, Monticello, depending on where those storms ultimately set up. Uh, so we'll be watching possibly some areas getting an inch to some areas getting maybe about a quarter of an inch of rain. So we'll monitor that, that closely. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for the latest details for the day planner with some storms tomorrow evening will dry out for Tuesday. More storms Wednesday night and then we will see more storms coming in Friday into Saturday. Perry.